if you have a master system and you think you have all the add-ons and you don't own a Sega master system light phaser gun, you're wrong. These things are one of the best pieces of fun you can have on your master system. Now back in the day when they originally sold the Sega Master System 1, not the 2, but the 1, you would get one of these included. So you get the, uh, the console, one of these, the controller, and the necessary cables, plus Safari Hunt and Hang On. Now Hang On's a motorcycle game, some of you may be aware of it. And you've got Safari Hunt which uses a light phaser gun, okay? So you would have animals on the TV screen and you would shoot at the animals, kill them, get points. Good fun. <laughs> Good harmless way to kill an animal. Now, um, yeah, so that's what the masters, uh, the light phase of gun does. And there are some good games that go with it, but I'll look into that later. Now, this thing looks like a gun, okay? Except for this cable here. But apart from that, that there looks like a gun. Okay, the first um, shooting gun ever to be made for a game, for a home console, okay, not an arcade machine. Arcade machine would be different to a home console. The first home console one was made for the Magnavox Odyssey, I think. Uh, and they started making them in 1972, the console, but I think it was around 19, oh, I'm not sure, 76 or something like that. They started making these massive shotguns. And what you do is you shoot at the TV screen, and then to reload, apparently you have to clutch it like that. Boom. So, in, um, oh, say, 15 years, they've managed to make it into a handgun. Which, I don't know. I mean, it depends. I suppose it's on preference, really. Would you prefer a shotgun or a, a little handgun? doesn't really matter. However, even with this, I like to hold it like that whenever I'm playing it because you get st it's steady. And I use that little aimer. And it keeps the gun steady. Whereas if I hold it with one hand, it is really hard to aim. Um, and, uh, on the NES, at the same time, they had the light zapper. Not the phaser, but the zapper. And it, I think it was orange and grey. I can't remember how the colour scheme goes, but there's orange and it's, it was mainly orange and grey. So yeah, and it's only got the one button, so that operates the whole game. And it says right there, Light Phaser, Sega. Uh, and the serial number, and it says it there, Made in China. Now, I actually read up about these on the internet, and apparently, um, a man actually in Brazil, by the way, um, yeah, a man held up a woman as a hostage um, so that she would pay him twenty dollars uh, in US. That is, so someone got one of these. I presume clipped off the cable. Otherwise, look a bit silly walking around with this thing. Um, and said, "Hey, give me twenty dollars," and held her up. That's how realistic this gun thought, and there was no arguments. Even though the barrel was massive, but apart from that, that does look pretty devastating. And the fact that it says Sega Light Phaser. Anyway, um, now this thing does not shoot lasers, people. I don't know how many times people say, "Oh, does that thing shoot lasers?" No, it does not. This thing, when you shoot it, does not. In fact, it does the exact opposite of sending signals at your TV. Okay. Um, so yes, um, basically what it does is it reads information off the screen. So every time you do that, there's a TV screen, boom, it reads the information. Okay, sends it down this thing into the, through the cord into your master system. And it produces like the shooting effect. Now I presume if I say shot at that point, Got a little circle there, it'd probably pinpoint it or something like that. I don't know. But anyway, so yes, it reads information, it does not shoot lasers. So that means technically I could do this. 
I could do that for about an hour at my eye and it would not hurt. One bit. However, I wouldn't suggest you do that because that's not good for your master system. Okay, um... Now, the game I own, I actually don't own Safari Hunt. Um, I'm wanting to get it in the near future. But I've got Gangster Town, that's also a good game. Um, yeah, basically you shoot, uh, you're an FBI agent and uh, you shoot all these people, it's good fun. It's pretty epic. So yes, should you get one of these? Um, that'll depend. Um, if, you, if you're a parent, you don't want your kid going around like a maniac in front of the TV, I understand. However, this is a great piece of technology. And I prefer it over the Wii remote. Trust me, these things are much better and accurate. And you might think, well, you've got a cord restriction here. So what? It doesn't matter how far away you are, um, it does actually matter how far away from the TV you are. So, if I'm more than two meters away, I'm not going to get that accurate. It's really hard aiming. So it doesn't really work that well if you're more than two meters away. So this actual record restriction doesn't really matter that much. It doesn't matter if I had it on or off. It, it would be very useless from less than two meters away. For the TV. Um, yes, and the Wii Remote, I think how they do their little online thing is it does it through the console, not actually the TV. So sometimes you might get quite the accuracy you're looking for. I've I've played on the Wii before and I don't know the remote, it's sometimes complete opposite to what it has on the TV it can be can be pretty ugly at times. Not that I'm dissing out the way. I just have my preferences and this thing I definitely prefer over it. So that's the Sega Master System Light Days Gun. I would recommend getting one of these. It's great household fun. And it brings a family together. Which is quite spooky. And I'm hopefully going to put a Gangster Town review. Um, now for this, I'm probably going to film the TV screen. I'll see how that goes. Stay tuned.